We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Miami Marlins. Major League Baseball on the Show is next. Sandy Alcantara is ready to go as she'll be on the mound for the Marlins. Dan, any thoughts? One of the keys to look for with this guy this afternoon, he's had a really difficult time getting people out with runners in scoring position. Over 300 average against coming into this start. He's really struggled when there's been traffic on the bases, and this is something he's going to have to clean up. And in steps Scott Kingery, and we are set for baseball here this evening. First of three here on this Tuesday night as the game's first offering is taken for strike one. Guys, this Marlins ball club as they begin play here tonight, they begin this series feeling pretty good about the way things have gone as they come in right in a four game winning streak. Yeah, Maddie, we had a saying in Texas, hit or get left behind. And that's exactly what this team did in their last game. Scored a bunch of runs, but good approach at the plate, working the ball to all gaps. Line to line, this team swung the bats well. I'm going to be looking for that again in this one. A swing and a ground ball to third. He's got a hurry, and a good throw gets him one gun. Batting second, the left field, number 22, Anthony McCutcheon. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up the former National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nope. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Alcantara is kind of an interesting guy when you dig into his starting pitching tendencies. As starters go, he does a nice job of limiting base hits, but what's proven to give him trouble at times is the walk. He tends to issue a lot of free passes, more than you'd like to see. That's an interesting note, Matty B. I think one of the things that he doesn't give himself enough credit for, when he falls behind in the count, two and one, three and one, he's the kind of guy that's just not going to lay one in there and let you whack it. He'd rather start with a fresh count to a new batter. So I wouldn't look at that as a negative. He just isn't the kind of guy that's real aggressive when he falls behind in the count. To two and two now. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. The 2 2. Loud contact there, but it's well foul. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. It's a solo shot off the bat of Andrew McCutcheon, the 248th of his career, and the Phillies grab a one to nothing lead. Love the homer in the top of the first inning. Give your pitcher a chance to kind of regroup and gather himself with an early lead. And Bryce Harper will dig in at the plate. Batting third. The right fielder, number three. Bryce Harper. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And this one runs up high. Ball one. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. 3 and 0 to him now. Winging away, and now the count will be three and one. Hit hard to the right, but foul. 
Now the three and two pitch. He loses him on ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. First delivery to him on the way. Harper, a runner at first with one gone in the inning. Nope. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. He's having a really hard time finding his rhythm and finding the strike zone. It's going to allow this offense to keyhole him in big situations. He's got to figure it out pretty quick. Here's a look over to first, and the runner will get back standing. Two and one. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. A man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Harper running from first. Strike taken, the throw. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. We all know this team is struggling right now. They're on a losing streak, so when that's the case, sometimes you need to be a little bit more aggressive and try to put some pressure on your opponents. Stolen bases are a good way of doing that, so we'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for him right now. Two and two count. Here it comes. Didi Gregorius will be next. Now the payoff pitch home. Hard hit ball to second. Scooped up, and that's the second out. Coming to the plate now, Didi Gregorius. And the Phils trying to make this first inning even better here. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Lifetime against this pitcher. He's 0 for 7. off looked like he was cheating a heater right there a little bit too far out in front got to find a way to keep his hands back again another foul ball here's the one two in the dirt but swung on and missed Cervelli corrals it and that'll score the run from third as they go up two to nothing now and quite a turn of events there is not only is he on on the drop third strike but a run scores as well. So a runner at first with two away and in steps the catcher JT Real Muto. From the belt the pitch. A good fastball above the belt is normally a pitch that batters love to take a rip at but that one froze it. Grounder down the line at third. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. And he fouls this one off. And this is swung on and missed as the 30th pitch of this inning finally does the trick. The side is retired. So two runs on one hit, and the one hit was a big one, the home run. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Phillies, two. The Marlins coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Nick Pavetta is ready to go as he's on the mound for the Phillies. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, you take a look at this guy's number. One of the things that jumps out at you is that ERA. It's into the fours. But that doesn't necessarily indicate what kind of pitcher this guy is. If he brings his A game, he can shut anybody down. The problem he's had so far this season, he's been a little bit inconsistent. He's a better pitcher than that ERA over the fours indicates. 
First pitch of the at bat on its way. In there at the knees, strike one. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, they continue to fall on hard times, losing again last time out, and that makes seven losses in their last eight games. Yeah, Maddie, this is where you find out what you're made of right here, right? They've been losing a lot lately, find themselves at 500 after being a few games over that. This is where you have to grab yourself and find a way to battle and get it back on the rails. Hit on the ground toward the left. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Tim Anderson. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Anderson takes the swings from the right-handed batter's box, but he's one of those rare hitters that actually thrives facing same-handed pitching. One of the very best in the game, as a matter of fact, in that type of matchup. Yeah, Matty, he does not leak with that front side. He keeps that shoulder tucked, stays inside the baseball, and it gives him every opportunity to hammer the fastball and stay on that breaking stuff. 2-0 count, the pitch. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Come on, yeah. Let's go. Runner good. goes for second. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even a two and two. From the stretch. This is line to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. Garrett Cooper. Now at the plate, Garrett Cooper. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. He's set. Here it comes. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. Hey, not too often we see this hitter come outside his game plan, outside the zone, but that pitch was just so tempting. In there and he's in control 0 2 now. He broke out the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat mouse game yeah, continues yeah. on. Count is 1 and 2 now. A bullet to first base. The tag will get him coming back to first. It's a double play, and the inning is over. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. We move ahead to the top of the second now. It's the Phillies two, and the Marlins nothing. Digging in now, Nick Williams. He'll get us started in the top of the second. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. 2-0 to the Philly center fielder. Yeah, he just isn't that sharp on the mound right now. Had a rough start in the first inning, and now he's falling behind out of the gate here in the second. Some adjustments need to be made, and fast. Now the 2-0. He walked a guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. The 3-0. Yeah. Taking all the way that time. It's 3-1. Three, three balls, one strike. And that misses nope. for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. And don't forget, he lost his last time out. So he wants to get off on the right foot here. The last thing he wanted was to walk the leadoff man. Ready now, Neil Walker. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Well, if you're looking for pop, he definitely has more pop. More home run potential hitting from the left side. This is his power side. Here's the first pitch to him. 
He'll start him with a sinker here, but that sinks a bit too much that time. It's 1-0. and Well, this second inning is not starting out any better than the first was. He just might not have it in this one. A runner at first with no outs here. And that's too high, ball two. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. 2 and 0 count, here it comes. And that's over, 2 and 1. Can't connect there, it's two and two. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. For me, check swings are right there next to bang bang plays at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. As a look, now the pitch. Now a bunt attempt here, but a foul ball here, 0-1. From the belt, the pitch, showing bunt, but he winds up taking ball one. Great decision there to pull back. Step number one in getting a sacrifice bunt down, make sure you bunt a pitch that you can handle. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Wanting to avoid the double play here as he gets this one down. To second for one. On to the pitcher covering, and it's in time. A double play, and the inning is over. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Phillies two, and the Marlins nothing. So here's the cleanup hitter, Corey Dickerson. He'll start us out here in the home half of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Breaking ball that drops in for a strike. And Dickerson behind 0-2 now. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. One ball, two strikes. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. The catch is made out there by McCutcheon, and that's the first out. That is it. The right field. Brian Anderson. Stepping in, Brian Anderson. He's looking to get things going at the plate. It has not been going his way of late. First pitch on its way. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Pavetta. A Canadian native, he was a fourth-round selection back in the draft of 2013. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. Lays off the slider, and it's one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Two and one. in the air out to center field. Williams is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. So bases are empty here with two gone and up next the right handed bat of Yasiel Puig. First offering on its way. Fastball well outside. Hit hard up the middle. A dive and he knocks it down. 
and no chance at a recovery here is despite a great effort that time they won't get an out on the play nice effort by the shortstop right there kept it in front of him that's a, that's all he could do right there Dan you know dealer in a spot like that that's an infield single that's a tough play just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job but any way you look at it that should be scored a base hit and I'm sure it was. Into the box now, Isan Diaz, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250, six home runs, and 21 driven in. Liner towards second, and that's into the gap and should be extra bases. Puig rounds the corner and is headed home. He comes across to score as it's now a one run ball game. So much of this Look game there. is situational Ready hitting guys. Go. Nice job there. Yeah you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance and he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there safely on second and his buddy is high fiving teammates in the dugout. Here's the catcher Francisco Cervelli as the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. Two out here and a runner at second. Oh, Up top, good. it's two and zero. Oh. Grounded back up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. And they come back to tie it up as it's now a two-two ball game. And I can't blame the pitching coach for making that walk. That's three consecutive two out hits here. So he's going to remind this guy that they just need to make one good pitch and get this inning over with. Let's see if the talk does any good. At the plate now, Sandy Alcantara. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. one count here's the pitch and he lays off for ball one one and two now is that one's fouled off and he popped him up Kingery ranging into shallow right he tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the former first-rounder, Scott Kingery. God. Kingery. Now here it comes. One oh. Hey. One ball, one strike. Rounded softly down the line toward first, but a foul ball. One and two, the count now. So two balls and two strikes now. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially. Oh, hold on here. Well hit into deep left center. And I don't think this one's coming back. No siree. This one is gone. So a solo shot here to left center field home run number nine on the year as the Phillies move out in front three to two. Well in just a little more than two innings of work he's given up two homers could be just one of those games for him 
We'll see how much rope they give him. It's definitely getting shorter at the moment. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. The wind up and the 0 1. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Line drive base hit. So he'll hold on at first following the single to right. May get two hits for him here this evening. And as you see there, he currently tops the Phillies in that department. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. No official at bat for him but he has scored a run in this one. Now a throw over to first and he has to dive but he's back in easily. The 1 0. Fouled away. Aye. Now a curveball's in there. One and two now. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. <laughs> Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. Swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins, and it's fouled away. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. The 0 2 home. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Now a move over to first, and he just manages to get his hand in. Runners on first with one down. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good, high, hard fastball. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. The Phillies get one in the frame courtesy of this solo home run. Bottom of the third coming up and Philadelphia has taken a 3 to 2 lead. Now batting Jonathan VR as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The third baseman. 
third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch curveball and that misses in the dirt for ball one. One and one to the Marlins leadoff hitter. Down the first baseline. Hoskins has it and he'll step on first himself for the out. So one out now for the Marlins in their half of the third and up next it'll be Tim Anderson. First offering on its way. And a ball one and oh. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. Third inning. Already a 3 2 ball game. Line towards center field. Williams is there and he'll bring this one in. The bat, the first baseman, Garrett Cooper. Striding into the box, Garrett Cooper, 0 for 1 here in the early going. First delivery to him on the way. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Takes this the other way to right. That gets down, and the inning continues. Kind of looked like he had gotten his bearings there. Dan was going to have a 1 2 3 inning, but not the case, giving up that late two out knock. Well, this lineup is so deep, one through nine, they can put a hurting on you, and they're making him work, and he's given up a lot of base hits so far in this one. So far, this has not been an easy one for this pitcher. Lifted down the line and left. Long run for the left fielder, but this will land untouched. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. A runner on first with two away. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Line drive that's a base hit into the right center field gap and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The right field. You know your number offense 15. just throws a number up on the board for you. The last thing you want to do Anderson. is go out there and not throw a donut up for the boys. He was able to get those first two out so quick but now with a hit in a single he finds himself in a little bit of trouble. So now to the plate Brian Anderson. He'll swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Ready with the 0 and 1. Two down, runners at first and second. And this is taken for a cold strike and he's not in love with that call either. It's one and two now. Hit on the ground out to short. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. Marlin strand a pair. They trail three to two. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Okay, thank you, Heidi. New inning set to get underway, and that brings up JT Realmuto. 
first pitch of the at bat. Popped him up. Diaz is there. One out. Into the box now, Nick Williams reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Pitch on the way. Nope, ball one. Now the 1 0. He is high and outside for a ball. Two balls and a strike. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. Two balls, two strikes to Nick Williams. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Yanked on the ground down the line. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. And a fastball misses there. Ball four. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. So coming to the plate, Neil Walker comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And they'll try and get him out in front to start the at bat, but this misses off the plate away. It's ball one. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Swing and a miss. Blew it right by him at 96. It's a ball and a strike. The 1 1 is laid off for ball two. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. And this is the kind of thing that's been happening to him all season long. He'll cruise for a while, hitting his spots, and all of a sudden the wheels come off and he struggles. We'll see if he can recover here. From the stretch. Looking to bunt here, but he can't connect, and that's the first strike. He doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach right here. That sack bunt is definitely staying on. And the pitcher will indeed try and move his runners as he gets this one down. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. And this will go down as an E5 as you can see the exasperation on his face. Standing in, Scott Kingery. He's coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. From the stretch. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 0. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. One and no delivery. Now the slider gets the call in the bottom part of the zone. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find the zone. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. Now the one and one pitch is a swinging strike on the fastball. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches. Anything on the outer half of the plate's going to look a foot outside. Cooper is there. Two down. Striding in, Andrew McCutcheon. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run.
first pitch on its way. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation, so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. 1 and 1 to Andrew McCutcheon. A curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. One and one. Here it is. No contact there, and it's one and two. Hey, this is a huge pitch right here. It would be demoralizing to watch this inning slip away. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Don Mattingly about the Marlins' offensive production. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said there is nothing prettier than frozen rope after frozen rope, and that is exactly what he's getting right now. The data says they've hit eight line drives as a team in this one, some resulting in outs, but obviously that's a good sign for them going forward. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Next to bat will be Yasiel Puig. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Here comes the first pitch. Laid off the bender there, but it's in for a called strike. A one and one count to Puig. Now the one and one pitch. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Swing and a blooper to the right side. Harper is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. Ready now for the Marlins, Isan Diaz. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Two well count the pitch he is looked at for the first strike. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that and this one caught the zone. Into the windup here's the two and one pitch. Hey he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. Three one. We're in the fourth. Three to two is our score. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Now batting. Digging in, Francisco, Francisco Cervelli go. looking to follow up the go. RBI Cervelli. single from his first at bat. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. 1-0 count. Here it is. And that one misses upstairs. 2-0. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. Now here's the pitch. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. Two runs, six hits, and one error so far for the Marlins. Now a ball hit foul off to the right and up into the crowd.
Count remains full. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. That's a nice job to work that walk right there. Even if it doesn't lead to anything on the scoreboard this inning, it prevents the pitcher from having to lead off of the next one. Just one of those small things that might go unnoticed, but in the end, make a big difference. So here now is the pitcher, Sandy Alcantara. He flew out in his last at-bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that misses ball one. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. Looked like he wanted to clobber that one, but it's one and one. Two out with the man at first. A ball and two strikes to the Marlins pitcher. Hit back up the middle. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Boy, dear, are you talking about frustrating as a pitcher? You have the pitcher up with two outs, and he extends the inning there with a base hit. Yeah, it's funny. I hit eighth in my career, and the grind was to try and get the pitcher up so you could waste that out and flip the lineup over. This guy took it into his own hands and did just that. By getting a knock, now we could have some issues here. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. One and oh, here it is. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, one and one. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Made him look silly with that one. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off-speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Gregorius into shallow left. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. No runs, a hit, two left. On to the top of inning number five we go. Phillies on top, three to two. Sixto Sanchez will take the ball now as the new pitcher. Number 73. Sixto. Sixto. Digging in to try it again. Bryce Harper over one with a run scored thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here. One and oh. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. The 1-1 home is taken for ball two. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. The 2-2. Little chopper back to the mound. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring in a perennial MVP candidate for years to come, Reese Hoskins. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch fouled off. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Clearly off with his timing on that one. A swinging strike. 0-2 count. You could do just about anything you want right now. Up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Good time to be a pitcher. Fifth inning of play here in a 3-2 ball game. Hit hard on the ground at first. Fielded cleanly. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. 
now batter. So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. Oh. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. Two and zero oh count. Here it comes. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Now the 2 1 pitch. Line to the right side. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Three up, three down for Philadelphia, but they still lead it three to two. Bottom of the inning now, and coming forward now is the shortstop, Tim Anderson. On its way is pitch number 75. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. Here's one that misses high, it's 1 and 1. Lifted in the air out to left field. McCutcheon is under it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. And that'll bring in Garrett Cooper. Last time through was a base hit. First delivery to him on the way. The wind up and the 0 1. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Breaking ball is swung on and bounced to short. Gregorius has it, and there are two away now. Ready for another shot now. Corey Dickerson. He singled his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. No balls and a strike to count. Two runs, seven hits, and one error so far for the Marlins. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. Cold strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. Here's the pitch. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. That's a good job right there. You very rarely see pitchers double up where they go a pitch inside. Normally, they'll go back outside, but he followed that up with another pitch on the inside part of the plate. Now a swing, but not much behind it as this is lifted into shallow center. In there, a base hit. The right field, number 15. Here comes the Philly skipper on his way out toward the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So he'll depart here. And you know he would have loved one more out to qualify for the win, but he's gone nonetheless after four and two thirds. Zach Eflin takes over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. Number 55. Zach Eflin.
Standing in now, Brian Anderson. And he's first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Dan, that hit right there extends his hit streak to eight games. Are you aware of stuff like that? No doubt about it right now. He's swinging at that really well. And after that knock right there, hey, listen, eight games is nothing to sneeze at. So you can say, hey, he's going to hold calendar week with getting at least one base hit. So there's a lot of positives going on right now. He's one for two in this one. One and oh, here it is. And he won't bite at that one either. It's two and oh. That's popped up. And that's in there. Base hit. And to score from third, the tying run. You know, D-Row, there are certain hitters that just love to come up and clutch two-out RBI situations, and this guy certainly is one of those guys. Yeah, they're able to slow the moment down. It's not for everybody. This guy has ice water in his veins consistently coming through in big spots. Nice job right there to tie this one up. Into the box, Isan Diaz, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. A hit and two tries for him so far. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. Runners at the corners, two men out. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Well, no one really likes getting plunked by a pitch, but as long as it doesn't do too much damage, most guys will take it any day. A free pass can be a big deal if the guys behind you can make it hurt for the pitcher. Stepping into the box, Francisco Cervelli. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat. Tried to check it in its own one. Two out, bases loaded. Uh, tried to pull that one back, but he couldn't do it, and it's 0 and 2 now. Hoping to keep it tied. Here it comes. One ball, two strikes. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. One and two. Here it is. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Kingery trying to get there. One run scores. The throw home. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. With that base hit right there, d -Row, that's his third RBI okay. of the game. More importantly, his team's now ahead. Yeah, these are the special ones. He's had a great approach all day. He's battled his tail off, and he's given his team single-handedly, almost given his team a chance to win this one. Jorge Alfaro will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. He's hitting for the Marlins. Number 38, Jorge Alfaro. Lifted in the air out to center field. On the run is Williams. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Marlins lead it five to three. Drew Steckenrider takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 71. Three. Top half of the 
the sixth about to get started and oh. now it'll be the catcher JT okay. Real Muto things not looking very good so far in this one but we're still in the middle innings they're down by a couple of runs and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going the last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Ball and a strike. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. I mean, that's a classic case of coming off your backside right there. He lost his entire back leg. Was out in front, couldn't keep his hands back. Two two pitches fouled away. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. Might have been sitting on an off speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late, had no chance to put that ball in play. Up next will be Nick Williams. Fouled away. The average sits at 286 here to start play. A dozen home runs and 32 driven in. The 0 1 on its way. Line drive to left. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Now batting the third baseman, Neil Walker. Here's Neil Walker. As he'll take a look at ball one. It was a walk in his last trip. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Walker, a native Pennsylvanian. This is his 12th season in the big league, so he's put together a really nice career to this point. Yeah, Maddie, you ain't kidding right there. Ten years, we refer to that in the biz as hitting full pension. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. And the fastball misses high and away there. It's full three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a three two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Full count, here it comes. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Adam Hazley will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 40, Adam Hazley. And that's in there for strike one. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. He pulls this one into right. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. I'm shocked he got to that pitch right there. In today's game of loading up, leg kicks, toe taps, dropping the hands, trying to create launch angle, that high heater usually gets by. In now, Scott Kingery. Hit in the air down the right field line. Long run for the right fielder, but this will land untouched. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. 
Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Oh, and two. Here it is. Fastball strike three called on the outside corner, and he can't believe it. I don't blame him, but the inning is over. Phillies leave a couple. They're still down 5-3. Sir Anthony Dominguez enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 58, Sir Anthony Dominguez. Digging in the switch hitter, Jonathan Villar. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First offering on its way. Try to bunt his way on, but this is popped up. Throw will not be in time as a perfect bunt there nets him a base runner to lead off the inning. The batter number seven. Shortstop. Here. Anderson. And the next to bat will be Tim Anderson. Into center field, line drive base hit. Boy, something you don't see very often. You got a guy that can run at first base. Normally you'll see a hitter try to take a pitch or two D row to give that guy a chance to steal a bag. You know, it's funny you say that, Dan, because coming up in those situations, you want to give the guy a chance, but you also realize that that guy wants to give his catcher a chance, so you're probably getting a piece of cheese. To the plate now, Garrett Cooper hit the other way out toward right field. Harper is there and he makes the catch for the out. And the throw from right will not be in time as he takes third on the flyout. Good read there at second base to know he could make it to third on the flyout. Now he's only 90 feet away with one out. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Corey Dickerson. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Oh, Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. Runners are at first and third, one away. That's inside. Two and zero. Oh. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Now the 2 0. He is swung on and missed, strike one. Now the 2 1. Whoa, that's down. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit in now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. A bullet to first base. At the plate, Brian Anderson. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to A.B. From the stretch. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off-speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Williams is under it, and that retires the side. Marlin strand a pair as they hang on to their 5-3 lead. Brad Foxberger is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 33, Brad Foxberger. 
Andrew McCutcheon will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ball game. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. Set and the pitch. The one and no delivery. That's ball two. Two balls, no strike. Pull that two side. Yeah, well, down two. You better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner on and get that tie run to the plate. He's set. Here's the 3 0. Yeah. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. Swing and a miss as he went after the slider there, and that'll run the count full. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. So he couldn't get the bat off the shoulders that time. Andrew McCutcheon goes down for the first out in the seventh inning. Here's Bryce Harper now as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Boxberger, the former Royal, he became a member of this team after signing as a free agent earlier this season. Yeah, he didn't have an opportunity to really get acclimated to this ball club. Showing up during the season is not always easy, opening the doors to a big league clubhouse and trying to get to know your teammates. The best way to get to know them is to go out and produce. One one. Now a swing and a deep drive to right. Looking up is the right fielder, and that's a home run into the top tank. A solo home run off the bat of Bryce Harper. Home run number nine on the year. As they pull within one here, it's now a 5 4 game. We've seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one, guys. You know, D-Row, looks like the boys are dialing long distance from the batter's box so far. <laughs> yeah, the pitchers aren't fooling anyone today, Dan. Let's see if this trend continues. Up next for Philadelphia. Into the box the now, team. Reese Hoskins. As he'll oh, take a look at a high strike here on the outside corner, it's 0-1. We could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. All over that one but a little out in front foul ball. One out nobody on. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Every pitcher gives up home runs, some more than others, but the best ones forget about them as soon as the next guy digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. Here's Didi Gregorius as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. The 1-0 misses for the second ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he gets this one over at the knees for the first strike. I tip my hat to the batter right there for taking that pitch. Most guys would have definitely been swinging in that situation. 2-0 fastball, but that was not in the zone he was looking for. Move on to the next pitch. Popped him up. 
Cervelli has a play. And that retires the side. Ladies and gentlemen. But the Phils draw a bit closer thanks to this solo home run. Get up and stretch. Home half of the seventh coming up. It's the Marlins five and the Phillies four. Tommy Hunter gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Tommy Hunter. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Yasiel Puig. Yasiel Puig. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And this is taken outside for ball one. Rip down the first base line, but a foul ball, one and one. Wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's two and one. Hunter has over 40 innings on his line so far and in that time he's allowed just barely over a base runner per inning which of course is very good. The 2 1. Line drive snagged on a short hop and that's the first down. Now with the plate, Isan Diaz. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. Yeah, Maddie, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully, it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. First delivery to him on the way. Nope, that's down. Bases are empty, one man out. That's and that's three. high and away, and the count goes to 2 and 0. Oh. It's never advantageous to fall behind 2 and 0 oh as a pitcher, but if you're going to do it, it's far better to do it with a guy down in the bottom of the order. Time for a challenge fastball right here, though. And the pitch. And he started to go around there, and it'll cost him, as they say. He did swing the bat. It's 2 and 1. Cut fastball that time, but he doesn't bite, and now it's three and one. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. There's ball four. And that hole at bat, I feel like he really didn't want to challenge him. And I'm really surprised by that because I think this is a guy, the bottom third of the order, you have to go right after. So a runner at first now with one away and that'll bring up the right handed hitting Francisco Cervelli. He's set here it comes. Strike one to start the at bat. The 0 1 on its way. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, definitely had the distance but it winds up a foul ball. On the ground to second. Did he get his double play? One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. 
Look, Look, Rodas Vizcaino will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Miguel Rojas is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. Ball set for the start of the inning and in steps the catcher JT Real Muto. This thing's far from over even though we're moving into the back end of this game only down by one all they need to do is get this leadoff guy and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up ball one to start the at bat downstairs two balls and no strikes well, this one's been a bit of a head scratcher despite their home run production today. Yeah, Matty B, this is one of those that you kind of scratch your head and you go, wow, you hit the ball all the ballpark, but still not enough oh, offense. It just goes to show you this sport is still, Dero, all about pitching. It is. It's, it, it begins and ends on that bump right there. And there's just so many facets to the game defense, base running. It's just not the team that hits the most home runs that's going to win the ball. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Yeah, that strategy is great when it works, but when it doesn't, it's ugly. And he was here to face one guy, and he couldn't get it done. Coming to the plate now, Nick Williams. It was a single for him in his last at bat. From the stretch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Nobody out, runner on first. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. Really important time for a strikeout there, guys. Tying run at first, so objective number one is stranding him on base, and now with one out, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that run. At the plate, Neil Walker. Pitch inside the throw. Offline throw, but they still got him. Good job of getting the tag down there. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. You know, something to keep in mind they're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. <laughs> 2 and 1 after the foul ball there. And they'll back him off a bit with a fastball in, but it's three and one now. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. Two out, nobody on. Fastball in there, three and two. One of my favorite pitches in the game right there, the old Greg Maddox equalizer. Start it at the front hip and bring it back. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. A payoff pitch one more time. Right side and right into the shift. Reined in. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Down quickly go the Phillies, and the deficit holds at five to four. And
and Joe Girardi is going to get up off the dugout bench and confer at home plate so we'll likely see a double switch here. Adam Morgan will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Josh Harrison will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. So striding forward now Miguel Rojas and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Morgan has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Pitch on the way. <laughs> Hit out towards second. Kingery's there. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Jonathan VR. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. First pitch on its way. Pull it up now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right hander begins to crank it up out there. The 1 0 home. I'm seeing him just a little too amped up out there right now. That's common with hard throwers like him. Running a blazing fastball up there is great, but if you can't harness it, what good does it do you? Now the 2 0 home. 3 and 0 now. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. Here it is, the 3 0. Fastball too high, ball four. No matter number seven. So a runner at first now with Anderson. one away. And up next, it'll be Tim Anderson. He's set and the pitch. This is line to left. McCutcheon is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batter. The first baseman. Garrett Cooper. So stepping in, Garrett Cooper. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Here comes the first pitch. And this is low ball one. Ball one, no strike. A runner on first with two away. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2 0. You thank your lucky stars when you get a chance to hit behind a guy with as much speed as he has on first base. The entire defense is on guard, and you know probably there's a fastball coming. Now the 2 0. Liner in there for a base hit. Count leverage right there, sitting dead red fastball, and he didn't miss it. Nice swing right there, driving it into the outfield for a nine.
So now to the plate, Corey Dickerson. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Two hits in four attempts to this point. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0 2 now. Man, this guy's been locked in all game long. I don't know where that ugly swing just came from. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Marlins strand a pair. They hold on to a 5-4 lead. Jose Alvarado takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 45. Okay. Set to start the ninth in this one, and the ever versatile Josh Harrison digs in. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. And it's fouled away. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. And the pitch. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. And he fouls this one off. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Count is full. Here's the pitch. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Well, there's only a one run cushion to play with, so he's got to be upset after he walked the leadoff man here. Go ahead run comes to the plate, and there are no outs. This could be a very interesting inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Scott Kingery. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. From the stretch, here's the pitch. In today's game, if they're going to give you an out, you take it. You have to find a way to execute a pitch in the zone, allow him to get the bunt down, and take the out at first. Fastball, and ooh, that ran in and drilled him. Well, he might be feeling a little bit of a sting there, but he can take comfort in knowing that he represents the go-ahead run. That could turn out to be a huge hit by pitch. So striding in, Andrew McCutcheon, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. 1-0. Ooh, he's really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find the strike zone in the worst way. The 1-0. -oh. 
lines the zone strike one. Possible tying and go ahead runs on base nobody out. Maybe too much break on the slider two and one. As a look now the pitch. He drilled the previous batter and now he falls behind 3 1 to this guy. The last thing you can do though is throw a fastball middle of the plate right here. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. That's in there and it'll run the count to full 3 and 2. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. And he misses ball four. So now that potential tying run scoots up 90 feet to third base. That's a big no-no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. So striding in, Bryce Harper, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. The last at bat, Matty D, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. When you're hitting in a situation like this, you have to find a way to slow your heart rate down. The pitcher's the one with all the pressure. You're looking to keyhole something, middle of the plate, and drive some runs in. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Nowhere to put anybody. 2-0 count, not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Nobody out. And here's a fastball for a strike. Two and one now. You can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you'd normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Now the 2-1 pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. Fouled away. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Nobody out. And this misses, so it'll set up a big pitch coming up. It's full three and two. Well, no doubt in my mind, this has been the at-bat of the night so far. And it's fouled away. And he misses for ball four. So the tying run will be forced in here in the top of the ninth. And this is not settling well with the fans. And it's times like these that a pitcher feels awfully lonely. I can see why he didn't want to be too aggressive. Last thing he wants to do is give up a grand slam to a dangerous hitter. But walking in a run is painful, too. And here he is again still with the bases loaded. Now in the box, Reese Hoskins. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much. 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make amend. Well, when your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. Here's the first pitch. So far this year against Southpaws, Hoskins is below the Mendoza line. The batting average under 200, unfortunately. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. A 
Ball and two strikes now. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And the go-ahead run stays at third with one big out on the scoreboard now. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days. But it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. At the plate now, Didi Gregorius. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. The 0 1. swing here but he pretty clearly went around and it's one and two now that's popped up and that will fall as he comes through it's a base hit one run is scored and he is in there Dan this had all the makings of going extra innings but right there a I'll knock to drive in two for your team. Yeah, d -roll. that's a huge two RBI base hit here in the top of the ninth inning. Stepping in now, JT Real Muto. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Hey, this is one of those tough outings as a reliever. Just have to keep throwing strikes and believe sooner or later this inning is going to turn around. The one one home. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. From the stretch. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. These guys on defense are still within striking distance, but after that walk, one swing of the bat could really blow this thing wide open. Standing in, Nick Williams. First pitch coming. Here it is. Well, that's off the plate. Three runs already home here. Two and oh now. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Ready with the 2-0 pitch. High in the air out to center field. On the move is Puig. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Usually when you score a lot of runs in one inning, like this inning, you're doing a lot of things right. And how about this? A sack fly to drive in another run. They have to be happy with this. Davey Grion will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. 
number 73, Davy Gruyon. A ball of no strikes. Four runs here in this half inning. Two and zero. Has a look now. The pitch got his 2-0 fastball, but he was way behind. Two and one. I'm not going to lie. I thought he lost it right there. He had no feel for the baseball, missing wildly several balls in a row, but able to attack the zone right now. Let's see if he gets back into it. Now the 2 1 pitch he is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Two men are on with two men out. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high, three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there, and now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. So, boy, the wheels really came off the bus here in the top of the ninth as a huge ninth inning rally has totally changed the complexion of this ball game. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. Philadelphia is on top, eight to five. Hector Neris is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the ninth. Stepping up to the plate, Brian Anderson. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. Oh, and won the count. Now the pitch. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The next one two pitch. Got him swinging in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Anderson is retired, and there's one away. When your closer comes in and strikes out the first guy he faces, everyone on the team can kind of take a deep breath. Still have two more outs to get, but retiring that leadoff guy is always huge when you're trying to shut a game down. Now here's the pitch. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. Not much he could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Ball one. Hit hard down the line. Throw gets him at first, and that was a magnificent play. Great reactions on that one, and a good job to get down on the ground in time to smother it. Still had to get up and make the throw, and of course, he did that too. John Birdie will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a splitter, and he lays off a ball and a strike.
taken called strike two and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Miami down to their last strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well baseball is a game of streaks and runs so a four game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic or press. They just came out here played their game and put the losing streak behind them like professionals are supposed to do. Well done. Eight to five tonight. Philadelphia came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Adam Morgan earns the victory out of the bullpen his fifth. Hector Neris closes the door for the save his tenth. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.